welcome back we have another makeup look for you guys i hope you guys are loving these because i love creating them i have the most fun when i'm doing makeup i really do it because i can create what i want so let's get started i'm using my primer today this is from urban decay and this is going to ensure that my makeup foundation just lasts a little bit longer than a typical wear okay we want long wear over here because i'm usually filming moving around taking care of kids uh, the whole nine okay i want long lasting makeup now i'm going to actually add a setting spray as well just to lock everything in even more now i'm going to quickly do my brows i have a dedicated video on how i like to do my eyebrows i'm not going to go in detail I pretty much just matte my eyebrows down with a powder, fill them in with a pomade, conceal, and that's pretty much it, okay? I also do set it with a little bit of mascara so my brows aren't moving around all over the place. Now it's time for foundation. I've been loving the Juvia's Place foundation. Man, I love the coverage I get and I love this color. It's a perfect match. It's my perfect shade. It's my shade in a bottle and I love that it's more neutral. It's not too orange, it's not too red, it's not too pink. Okay, it's the perfect, perfect foundation for me. I'm going to apply a decent amount all over. I like to apply like one to two layers just depending on the look I'm going for and I'm going to use a flat brush to blend it all over my face. Now it's time to conceal, highlight, and contour. I like to do this because it really does make my features stand out. It enhances my face. It also makes my skin look so good on camera and in photos. So I highlight underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead. I like to do reverse contouring as well. I put it on my chin, you know, we put, a, we put a little bit everywhere, pretty much. And I will add my contour shade to later on. I really love these concealers to highlight and contour because they're super blendable and it does give me a medium coverage. If you want more coverage, um, you require a little bit more, I would let it dry down some or apply a second layer. So I'm just going to take my time and blend everything together before adding my contour. Um, I'm going to use a different brush to contour with because I don't want my highlighter shade and my contour shade mixing together. So make sure you're using two different types of brushes so your makeup look doesn't come out muddy. Now to set my face, I'm using two powders today. One's from Graftobian and one's from Juvia's Place, okay? One's more yellow, one's more on the pale neutral side. I'm going to use this to set my face. I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, basically all the places I applied my lattice concealer.
If you want to bake, you can definitely do so. I will add a little bit more powder to bake. I like how it brightens up the look. I will get super matte and it can look cakey if you're not careful, but these powders are super finely milled and I never get a cakey look with these powders. Now to set my contour, I'm using Black Radiance True Complexion Palette and I'm going to apply this all over my contour shade. Now I'm using this palette um, to add a little bit of blush. Okay, I really wanted to bring out the reddish hues I'm going to be wearing in my shirt today, so I'm going to pack on the blush. I'm gonna pack it on, all right? I wanna look like Bruce Fruit over here, all right? And then I'm going to start doing my eyes. I did a simple eye look, well, simple to me. Um, I did a halo eye, but I use more warmer eyeshadows. So I'm going in first with the orange eyeshadow that's at the bottom of the palette. I'm using that to apply all over my crease, also underneath the lash line. And then to create the halo eye look, you do want to apply a deeper shade in the inner and outer corners. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm packing on this deep brown that's in that palette to the inner and outer corners. I also applied this on the lower lash line as well and did the same thing I applied it on the inner lower lash line and the outer lower lash line. So I'm just going to add the setting powder to my lid in the center just to make the lids pop out a lot more. If you have smaller eyes like me or you barely have any lid space, you want to bring your lid shade a little bit higher than your natural crease, okay? That just makes your eyes pop a lot more. So I wanted to add another layer of color. So I'm using that orange eyeshadow and actually applying it on the outside of the center lid shade. I hope you can see the placement. You can see it in the video and I don't know, that just adds another dimension. So we're doing orange, brown, orange, beige. That's basically how the colors are looking. I'm really loving how everything is coming together. I'm adding a shimmery shade to the lower lash line in the center to make the eyes stand out even more. I'm adding a little bit of black liner. Now for the lips, it's a concoction, it's a blend of things. <laughs>
and this is the finished look i hope you all enjoyed it i loved creating it let me know what you thought down below let me know if you would wear this out let me know if you want to see more makeup videos you got to give this video a thumbs up you have to you have to share all right tell your friends your fans all right thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one